Hey, what's up everybody? Cryptic here and today we're back with another game developer video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create a following system. So if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if I don't... If you like it. And uh, as you can see, I'm sick a little bit, so yeah. Uh, so what we'll be doing today, we'll run the game and figure it out of, of yourself. So as you can see, if I move the player, the NPCs follow you. That's what we'll be doing today. So we'll, let's go to the script. And let me explain we have three variables but we are not we're going to be using the follow stop distance variable we'll be using follow speed and follow distance now i want the follow speed because i want to actually uh differ the, the, the difference between the speed and the follow speed for example if i want to, if i want to like move like normal speed i want a different speed but when we are, i am following i want a little bit slow speed so you don't need to hassle a lot of stuff you will this is purely a preference you can do that you can don't do that you can use the speed variable over here you can use that so let's go down and let, let's take a look what we have so we'll go down we'll have a follow which takes a what to follow the what to follow as a parameter so follow is a function follow is a function takes what to follow now if we are checking here what we're checking we're saying checking global position which is our npc position now what is why global position not position because position means the initial position so uh, the position of right now this is the position so it, it has a x and a y coordinate but global position is in game in time in real time position so distance to between what to follow dot global position so distance to what it takes distance to is a distance to is a function which returns a, which takes a vector as a b and it will return the distance between the b so what will it will do it will return the distance between the b so it is, is less than follow distance this thing will return this whole thing will return a float value it will float value so it will check if it's less than the float distance variable if it is then we are ready to move how will we moving we'll need a distance between a value so what we are doing is getting the distance if you know the simplest of vector maths you know what i'm doing here what we are doing we are we are mm, we're subtracting two positions to get a distance let me explain in paint so in paint let, let's draw two circles which is will be represented by the initial uh, the npc position and the player's position so what is the what, which one is the npc position so the npc position is this one npc position which will be getting a distance between the players so i will just write player here uh player and the and PC. So the NPC is here and player is here. NPC is, has a position. So and this is the, the distance. So how can we get the player's distance? We can get the player's distance by N P C plus D equals to the player. Sorry, I'm using a mouse. So NPC NPC plus D equals to player. Now, if I want to get the D or the distance, what we are doing here, we'll we'll just minus this. So, N P C. <laughs> what I'm writing, man. Okay. N P C minus players. So N P C plus D equals to player. So we can get the distance by N P C minus player to get the distance. So that's what we are doing here. We're getting the distance between the positions. So what to do follow that position, which is the player's position minus the initial NPC's position, which will give you the distance. So we are now moving, we are sliding, we are giving a speed by a follow speed times distance to normalized, which we will be normalizing the scene. So we will save the scene. We'll run it. And that's what we are happening here. So if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe down below and com comment it out if you have any questions. So everybody, peace.